Tunisia's parliament fires its prime minister in a no-confident vote out of Tunisia's 217 members of parliament. 191 were present for the vote. A total of 118 voted to unseat Prime Minister Habib Assid. Three voted for him to stay at the helm of the North African nation and 27 abstained. The 67-year-old premier had been under growing pressure since President Beji Kaida Sebsi proposed creating a new government of national unity. SFC is now required to launch consultations within 10 days to choose the most suitable person to form a new government, though no clear front-runner has emerged so far. The no-confidence outcome was widely expected after the four parties that make up Isid's coalition said they would vote to oust him. This government is over because the era it represented is over. To address the real problems and especially to cope with the realities of our country and tell them with sincerity to our people we need to have a government with a broader political support. In other words, a national unity government. Assad's ouster comes at a sensitive time for the nation and many predict that the move will worsen the country's crisis. The country's situation will worsen even more because now we have to wait for two months for a new government. In the meantime, the country, the economy, people's businesses will be left behind. Tunisia, whose 2011 uprising inspired similar revolts across other Arab countries, has been touted as a regional example of a successful transition to democracy after a revolution. But successive governments have struggled to tackle a jihadist insurgency and to revive the flagging economy. The country has been in a state of emergency since November when a suicide bombing, also claimed by the Islamic State, killed 12 presidential guards in Tunis. Economic growth slowed to 0.8% last year from 2.3% in 2014, and unemployment nationwide stood at 15% at the end of last year. Bureau Report, ANN7.